Yes, my people. Now, good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Depending on the location of the watch this video, my name is Jeremy Apostle Alfred or John Oye. So the Mobile Street Commissioner, the man with the talk and the shan be dumb as you be. Remember, go and verify. We carry work out, come back to Stella Ambassador uh, Hospital Extension and we discover a massive work they go on for this place. And we are really happy with what is going on here. God bless Governor Godwin of Vaseki. Guys, make one come, make one see. They know they use the place for program. We are really, really happy. I do health insurance commission and other agencies with the Ministry of Health. They do program. They talk to talk about our people, and we are happy with what is going on here. And we will go inside. We can see what is go on. These are not be three D. You understand? These are not be three D. This is real. This is real, and they are working. So some most of the patients when they don't see today, they, they carry them go another hospital to go treat them for free. And this is what we want in a door. A door is actually becoming great again. So make we stop those negative narrative that spread about the state. A door is great. So make we go, make and see. God bless you. Make and see what they go on here. My power with now. Well work. Yeah. So my people, this is what we are talking about. You can see with the spirit did this place. We are happy. And this is actually becoming great again. And, uh, wow. Now they wrote too. Okay, so guys, enrollment is also going on for the low head insurance commission. So we are doing the enrollment here. Yeah. So how many more do you need? They show the sun people. Yeah, they show their faces. Show their beautiful faces. They are not spirit, they are human beings. Hold on. So this is the pharmacy and uh, when we say we could go to school and say no, and I want to call tickets. This is what they call it the development. So with the MD day, make we interview the MD. Okay, please. Mm. We want to interview the MD. Make you tell us what they do for here. See lift. Uh, see lift. This one is technical. I will show the politician. Oh, you all come. Well done, sir. That's my tea. Well, good. Okay, well done, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good. So, guys, you can see the Edo Hills there. They are out to ground doing their job. Not because they want to go with 20 plus year accounts. They commit nonsense. Come out and see things for yourself. I'm overwhelmed. I want to interview the, the MD. They're busy now. You understand? I want to make you tell us so many things when they go on for this place today. Remember, they showed the military sentence. They showed it. Yeah. 
My brother, bring camera. Come before MD. Carry one, carry one. Okay, carry good morning, sir. And before you disappear, mm -hmm. wanna bring camera. Come. <laughs> uh, you want to come also? Okay. Tell us your name and what you will do for it. Because me, I don't know. Okay. My name is um, Dr. Rock. I'm not speaking English. Let me be the Oga. Let me be the Oga for a Do State Health Insurance Commission. Mm -hmm. um, we are here today from the 14th of February to the 18th of February in readiness for our state security call center. You recall some weeks ago, His Excellency opened our emergency call line, which is 112 and 763, in readiness for challenges that would occur in the state. And so, for us in the health insurance sector, we are doing the bid of government. One of the bid of government is to pay, you know, have a level playing ground for everybody to thrive. And so, we brought orthopedic doctors from Lagos, from Abuja. Uh, to to network with those in Benin City so that they can be knowledge sharing, they can have referral and linkages to themselves. And so this service that is holding from 14 to 18 is totally free. Mm. And once we register them and give them free orthopedic care, we also enroll them into the health insurance scheme for continued care. So it's the initiative of Governor Godwin Obaseki, and we're going to do several camps before the year ends in readiness for utilize the Labasajo Hospital. It's a very beautiful structure of about 180 beds and the GOPD center is open and so we are utilizing it for a dope people and a dope people must enjoy it. Okay, thank you very much. I will go online and make you take us and make our people see one or two things if time permits. I know so you want to come on so I bet for the sake of a dope people we'll be seeing our task to the venue. Uh, I bet you just Thank you very much. We are in the reception area for example. Okay. These are the people who are collecting data of all our people. Okay. Um, we. I think today we've had over about about 200 to 300 people have passed through here. Okay. So what they do here is to collect their data, their names, their biometrics, their addresses in readiness for continued care and also to re get registered in the health insurance scheme. So these are our data officers as well. And all those things are free? Free of charge, totally free of charge. So when you come into the place, the first thing you do is to register. Okay. After they register, you do your vital signs. Okay. What are included in the vital signs? Your blood pressure, your blood sugar, your height, your weight. And your analysis, the few things that will give us an eye open out to what's happening to you. Okay. So after they do the vital signs, they sit down here and they are transported into the waiting area. Okay. That transport, what to do with the carry? No, no, they walk the walk <laughs> <to the> waiting <laughs> area. All right. So whilst in the waiting area, we have about 10 consulting rooms here where we can see doctors. Okay. Most of the cases today are just orthopedic cases. Okay. And so once they see one of our doctors, then they have to do x-rays or they have to do laboratory investigation. We take them to where they are going to do the investigation for, for continued care. And tomorrow they'll come back for follow-up. These people you are seeing here are beneficiary of this program. And we're hoping to register them in the health insurance so that when, after now, they don't have to come for free medical care. They can go to any place to receive care, okay. any of our empanel hospital. So that's the initiative that Governor, Governor Basaki has set in motion. And all these things are free. Totally free of charge. Wow. So, make you you take a run small. You make you more before. No, no, it's okay. Thank so you, these, these are the supporting staff, the nursing station. Okay. They try ask them to say what the challenges are. Do they have soft tissue problems? Okay. Do they have bone problems? And um, do they need to see a hand specialist, a knee specialist, or do they need a prosthetic surgery? This is required that we determine that. Wow. And so after they see them here, we transport them to where the consulting room has. Mm, Let okay. me take you to a few of them. Uh, uh, we want, we want, show what, uh, you so we have about three consulting rooms here. Um, Right. So this is one of our medical doctors from Cedar Crest. Hello. Um, sorry, I'm coming here. It's just the media people trying to see what we're doing. So he's doing free consultation for our people in the those days, and hopefully, if they require surgery, there will be a follow-up and they will be able to get referral in any case. So, um, doctor, thank you very much for what you're doing. He's given us free service, so thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very On much. behalf of the new people, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. So we have about eight doctors consulting. Let me take you to another doctor. This is another specialist doctor. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Just the media people. It's another specialist doctor who has come from Abuja to give free healthcare service. So for those who require surgery, require soft tissue, sometimes even prosthetic or hip or knee replacement, yes, sir. these are the doctors in charge. And they also come here to also give knowledge to our local network of orthopedic doctors. So it's not just a one-off teaching. It's also, it's also transferring of knowledge to other doctors to do what they can do. Now. So, Doctor, we thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, on behalf of the two people, say thank you. Thank you, sir. Wow.
<laughs> okay, make with the gong. We really be happy. So, guys, you can see, all these are not spirit, they are human beings. Now, hold on. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't know what to say, but the government just too much. Uh, Where is Dr. Ogilvy's room? Dr. Felix. Dr. Felix. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good afternoon. I think we can come in. There's nobody here. Um, so, um, again, we're in consulting room four. This is Dr. Felix Ogerebe. He's the leader of the team. He has the one that's powering this project. He brought about seven or eight doctors from Lagos and Abuja to transfer knowledge to our local network of orthopedic doctors free of charge, 100% free right. of charge. So, what you see going on now is not it's just a collaboration with the Joe State Government and Cedar Crest Hospital. We are not paying them a dime. They are using it as a form of corporate social responsibility wow. to their people. Happily, Dr. Ogribe is also from a Joe State, so he taught his wife to bring knowledge from various places and come and impute it in our people. So thank you very much. Thank you. Can, can, can we hear a little word from you? Oh, yeah, sir. sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think people need to hear from us. Oh, uh, all right. I'm so Dr. Yes, uh, th thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rock. So I'm Dr. Felix Ogribe. I'm the chief okay. executive officer of uh, Cedar Crest Hospital. And we are, we are glad to be here and we're glad to be working in support of the Edo State of Government and Edo State Ministry of Health and the Health Insurance Agency to be able to bring you know, uh, good health care to our people. Uh, we've seen the, the facility, this is a wonderful transformed uh, to the Hospital. And we think that the least we can do is to be part of this and bring uh, expertise and people who are flown in from different parts uh, just to be able to provide care for people who need it. We've had a wonderful time since we came this morning. Uh, patients are delighted about the kind of consultations they're getting, uh, surgeries that we do, uh, x-rays and all of that that the health insurance agency have uh, supported us with. So they are doing all the, all the uh, supporting us with the consultation with the x-rays, with the lab, uh, with drugs and all of that. So the patients are quite happy. And, all uh, this is up and everything is free. Everything is absolutely free. And we are all happy that we are able to contribute to educate and care in this way. On behalf of the people who believe in good governance, both at home and in Nashua, yeah. we say thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, a wonderful pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Dr. Obey. Thank you. Can thank I borrow my mind? Yes, let's go. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so Guys, you can see. So, Dr. Rob, just look at the So, you can see that uh, we have a world class hospital comparable to anywhere in the world. And um, most Western countries don't even have this. We have a, a 180 bed hospital, which is bigger than most of the big hotels in the country. Wow. And so, it's powered by OCMO power plants, which means that we will have 24 7 lights. And unless you are in the health insurance scheme, it will be difficult for you to access care here because out of pocket spending in Tel Abbas, the hospital will be huge. We have invested billions of naira. And these billions of naira will profit those in Edo, those with Edo, and those for Edo. Mm, finally, we see swimming pool for that place. I will let make you explain to that swimming pool. Right. Like I told you, we have a world-class equipment and infrastructure for Edo people. That swimming pool is not a swimming pool per se. That swimming pool is a, a, a physiotherapy place. So, you see, when, when you are immersed in water, yeah. when you are immersed in water, mm. you, the, the weight of your body and the weight of water Simply equilibrate. Yes, so you are able to move your legs faster, you are able to move your hand faster without effort. So what the water does is to potentiate the movement of these individuals such that they will have freer joints, they will have freer ways to move. I was going to take you inside. Now, Madam Hilo, do you have the key? Yeah. And um, so maybe you can you can view it, you can see where it is now. Yeah. You know, it's a it's a physiotherapy pool, and so we can have one or two or three or a group of people, or even an individual pool, you know, where they can aid their movement or free their joint, those who have stiff joint syndrome. Those who are planning, um, had a brain lesion before, now getting ready to work, this is them. So it's a world class standard. We also have something like this that we use for Debbie Moore, which is a smaller one. As we we'll go on, as we we'll show you the facility, you will see what most of the equipment we have, our CT scans, our MRI, is comparable to what you have in the West. We'll we'll Some of the places are locked now because okay. we we'll just to make sure that it's all secure. Okay. You know, okay. But once you come maybe tomorrow or next, I can. Have them open it so that uh, we go come. We go come. Yeah. So I'm going to follow Doug Bido because our people from abroad now just they 
They say they never seen it can't eat before. Yeah. So with me, so I need to encourage our doctors, mm -hmm. brothers who did that for us. Yeah. May they begin to contribute their own quota. So and also you get a message for them. They can talk to them, they watch this video. You see, um what Governor Obasaki is doing is unprecedented. It has never happened in the history of governance in the state. I want to use this medium to endear our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. So please support this administration to support the good vision of Governor Obasaki to make sure that the health of our people is better. And for those who have knowledge in healthcare, providing healthcare, come back home, like all of us have come back home, to develop our state for our state. Edo is a great nation, and what we hope to achieve in Edo is to have a subnational that surpasses every threshold that Nigeria has placed us on. And we hope that the next administration will be able to sustain these gains that we have had for the past seven years. In the last year that we are finishing strong, I endear every member, every indigenous of Edo state, so please join hands with Governor Obasaki to participate in the reforms of Edo State and make Edo State great for all of us to live in. And to make Edo State great for all of us to live in. I don't know whether you will permit us to interview one or two patients for this place. Yes, please, but you would have to take consent from them. Let them be willing before you um, interview them. Yeah, that's why I say so, please. That's, yeah. why I say, that's why I take so, permission. So you would have to talk to one of them outside the camera. Okay, I'll try the camera. Before you, once he agrees, then you cannot bring the camera. Okay. So, think what I'm going to do. Okay. 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 I'm going to realize you. I can talk to Mama. I can talk to Mama or any of them. So, my people. So. I'll say it be. We are happy with what we have seen here. Edo is actually becoming great again. Ogama Sha, you are all done. So, guys, you can see all these things now free. So, why you would do your room for abroad? The true negative stone come Edo. It doesn't make sense. You're there abroad, you they speak evil about your state. It does not make sense. Obaseki, thank you. So, my people, now here we go. Call them a day. We'll come back again to do follow up and make sure they see all the people that come here. And all this one are the work of Obaseki. And they take care of our Edo people for free. You'll be doctor, you'll be nurse, you'll be abroad. Contribute to the development of Edo. In no music, you must become governor before you contribute. Or you want to, you must become deputy before you contribute. <sighs> Everybody cannot become governor. But make we contribute our own quota to the development of a goal. Now, so I want to talk and reach. I'm becoming so emotional. My brother, you already show the people, you know, you already show them so that uh, we fit, uh, we fit go now. Mm. I say, been a lag bureau and criminal, no appreciate them. See, and abroad. My people, may I go find food shop at the hungry? When I do it, God bless you and bye for now.